Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get rid of the access denied message that might be coming up on your screen when you sign on to It's Learning. Um, and this, this seems to be happening for a couple different reasons, but one of those reasons might be that a student logs in to It's Learning through maybe a bookmark that's saved across their bookmarks bar on Chrome. And then when they use that bookmark to log in, they get the access denied error as soon as they enter their username and password. So they log in successfully, but you can't really go anywhere after that. And the reason why we think that might be happening is that if the student has been in BCSE for a little bit, maybe they were here last year or a couple of years, they might have created their own It's Learning bookmark. And maybe that It's Learning bookmark was from when they were signed in and they were on a specific class. So if I'm an elementary student, maybe I was in my teacher's AM homeroom class, or I'm on It's Learning and I'm a middle school student and I'm in my um, seventh grade social studies teacher's class, and I know I'm gonna be going there really often, so I just went over here in the top corner of my Chrome browser and I bookmarked the page and bookmarked the tab, and that's why there's this It's Learning tab. It doesn't tell me though that this bookmark is from a specific class. So what could be happening here is that when I try to log in with this bookmark, this is saved from my class I was in. This was my class from last school year. So I'll enter my username and password like usual. But if this bookmark was made in a class that I was in last year, I'm going to get the access denied error as soon as I log in because I'm no longer in that class. That class ended last school year, or maybe it was a few school years ago. So that's what I see. I see this message as soon as I log in because that bookmark was in a class that I'm no longer a part of. So what I need to do is make sure I log into It's Learning using a different way, but also get rid of this It's Learning bookmark that I've created. So let's get rid of that bookmark first. Now, if you have lots of bookmarks, you might see several across the top toolbar here. For this example, I'm just gonna hover over this. And again, it shows me access denied, so that's how I know that it's that specific bookmark. And I'm gonna click the three dot button here in the corner, bookmarks and bookmark manager. Now, this is if you're on a Chromebook, it's slightly different if you're on a laptop, but it shows me my bookmarks. If I've organized them into folders, I can look over here and see them there. But what I would do is click and I'm going to delete that bookmark. And if you notice, it's no longer across my top bar here. It's no longer there. All right, so I'm going to open a new tab. Okay, so I don't have that bookmark there anymore. So if you're a student, there's this student's bookmark bar here. And this is one that BCSC puts on all of the student accounts. And it's things that you're gonna be using quite a bit. And if you notice, it's learning is there. And if you log in with the students.bcse.k12.in.us bookmarks, it's always going to take you to just the general It's Learning homepage, not one that's with a specific class, so you won't get the access denied message. Um, but I could go over here, go to It's Learning. I'm gonna log in like usual. Sign in there. And if you notice this time, it does not take me to an access denied page. I'm just there, logged in, and then I can get to courses from here. Or I can also get to courses from this home button here. And there's a colorful card for each one of my courses. If you continue to get the access denied message, maybe I am able to sign in. I can see my school homepage here, but I click into courses and maybe I'm trying to get to my homework assignment and I see access denied, um, then I need to reach out to my teacher because that can be the link in the course isn't set up correctly. If you continue to have access denied messages, um, it might be helpful to clear the cookies on your browser. I know we have a resource out there that shows you how to do that, but it's always helpful to connect with your teacher too and see if they can give you any additional troubleshooting. 